You know what? In this film, I have my goddamn ass is off listening to this. This is a funny speech. After he showed how the first one was funny, I'm going, this is hilarious. <laughs> Not that it doesn't, a hilarious, he has a point. You know, when you ridicule something, you're making a point. Mm -hmm. Just like you did about how um, uh, Ex Machis you know, was being dumb. And Ex Machis says, oh. <clears throat> Puns are good with breakfast. Yeah, I know. Hot cross puns. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> How are you? Well, where are you? Well, I'm here. wired. Okay. Once again. This is bad. I have to watch my jokes. I told one to Brad and he <laughs> sent me an email <clears throat> and I didn't even know that I said it. <laughs> now what? He said, oh, man. <laughs> See, you ended, you ended that perfect. Now what? Yeah. <laughs> It's <clears throat> quite apt to go from just about anything you study, isn't it? Uh huh. It's pretty nice. Yeah. It's, it's a nice wrap. Huh. 
That 30 seconds just That's all the study. That's it. You're in a state at that point, you're trying to unravel. And it comes to you. You walk over and heading. it would be very foolish to uh, write these questions down, wouldn't it, Kate? If you, if you didn't at the same time answer them. Right? Go ahead, go ahead. Let me see if that's right. Yes. See? that came out. Um. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, the Phyllis, oh. five philosophical oh. dialogues. I believe I know the guy who wrote this. When uh, can we get a copy? Using no in the looser sense. Can I have that and then buy it later? <laughs> can I have it now and buy it later? <laughs> yeah. Me too. Well, it's coming back. <laughs> <It's coming. laughs> Why coming up? People who are into things like the ion should not get into this. Mm. <laughs> because? I, I, I didn't, he didn't say anything more than that, so I wasn't able to prod, you know, prod him. <laughs> so this is off, we can get it off Lulu, huh? Great. Yeah. Cool. I'll do it. But you have several of those, right? Okay, we're on 85. In the text for the, everyone who's anyone using this one, of course, mine is more recent than yours. But when they were selling them for ninety-five cents, it's a pretty recent. <laughs> you can tell because the pages stay. Yes. Yeah. God, mine went up to six ninety-five. Yeah. Well, things have changed. <laughs> they found the value of the book. <laughs> no. For three ninety-five, you get one of the walls apart. Thank you. 
We don't want to go to work early. I thought I'd just put some questions up here on the board. Okay, want to start? With other questions? What was it like when you decided to do the assignment? Yeah, well, I'll take this one. Did you get it? You got into the text, did you not? When you stopped. Yes. Yeah, to describe that moment. Can, can I use the ion instead of this? <laughs> I mean, can I use it when I got into that? Because I can remember that clearer than I can reading, reading this. I don't know. What do you think about making deals like that? I think it's okay. Yeah. Look here. See, when someone offers you offers you two, like, what do you rather have, oh. scotch or beer? The answer should be both. <laughs> Probably same thing anyway. No, go ahead. Do with the part the when you symposium stop. first. Oh. You, you did get in the symposium, I presume. Louder? Yes. Oh, good. And what was it like when you stopped? Um, well, I realized I had more work to do. I had more work yeah. to do. Go ahead. On something else. Yeah, elsewhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'll do it. And I chose to do that, and I thought, well, I'll, I'll get back with this when I get that finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you? Well, I just got it finished today. The answer no. is no. No. Huh. Is that correct? Yes. Um, the ion? Remember, she offered two. Take both. No. I'll write it down. It's shorter than that. Did, did, did you not it. offer a few minutes ago that well, you could I, I do it? Well, I thought you were going to ask me the other questions, because I can remember those better with the eye on than I can, but neither one I got back to. Oh, oh. Good, good. Did you make promises to yourself to get into the assignment? And how did it go? It went fine. Did, and you now feel confident about the work? Absolutely not. <laughs> I get the wrong answers. Why not? Because I didn't study it enough. What? I just read through it once. I have to wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's not studying. I just read through it once. Yeah. That's all you need. <laughs> all right. well, for some people. That's all you have to do is just read it once. <laughs> what do you mean by that when you say it? I didn't study it. I read it. Didn't. You think you have to study it? Look at the sheet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Dread. Dread. Yeah. Dread. 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 Jump. Well, I I'd say that it's it, the thirty seconds just prior would be like I was trying to pull to, pull keep together like an. I'm the model of it, okay? I'm like trying to keep it together. And then I read a sentence and it, it doesn't fit with anything. You know, it doesn't fit very well. So I'm like trying to tweak it. It's, it's like the next sentence is worse and the next sentence is worse and I don't see how any of them fit. And I feel, good, good. so I, um, I conclude that I don't have a mind for this. <laughs> you know, it's like, I, I'm just not going to be able to do this. And I feel really stupid and I stop until I get my enthusiasm back, which means I get in the fantasy state of, I can understand this. No, because you need a state of mind. I think you, that's it. You need a state it's of mind, state. and if you're not it's in similar. that state of mind, of course you can't work. It I always go for that. Yes. You know, yeah. it's always a state of mind. Right, similar right, problem. Right, right, right. It's a genus. Baloney. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, um, 
See, this answer is about the Logos, isn't it? Right? Is it not? Yes. Because whenever you got into something you really wanted to get into, someone gave you something else to do, and right? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one too, is it not? Mm -hmm. Why? I'll have to look at it. Why, why is this a path Well, I don't see how it fits. <laughs> well, just because I don't see how it fits doesn't mean I don't, doesn't mean I don't have a mind for it. They're not related. It seems like I need to... That's good. More? Because I can't see how it fits until I understand... Can I? Until That's I better. Right? Until I understand the whole. <laughs> Therefore, so that, whole, that whole effort... Is stupid. <laughs> is the pathologos. Is the pathologos. Yeah. yeah. The whole effort yeah. to keep, yeah. hold it together yeah. and make, keep a model of it going. Yeah. I would just say that I don't know that I think I lost enthusiasm and so got distracted rather than... You say it again? What is that? Enthu what's that? Enthusiasm. I, at first you need I, that? Enthusiasm. You need that. I need a question. Pardon me, you need that for what though? To really focus. focus. Oh, oh, and if you don't really have that enthusiasm... By the way, when you have enthusiasm, do something else. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that? Well, why why read if you're in the, in the, full of enthusiasm? <laughs> Do something else. Go out and dance around. <laughs> Call up your boyfriend or something. I don't know. <laughs> there might be a lot of things you might want to do when you're full of enthusiasm. Why read? But you think you're supposed to be in a enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. Good. Keep well, it up. The, if, if it's not Keep enthusiastic, it then I kind of drift, and then I think, oh, I'll come back to it later. When Same I thing. Uh, thank you. She said it twice. Look here. I'll come back to it later. There it is, again. Right, good. Jump in. Well, the issue on all of those seems to me to be that their ability to engage their soul's eye, you know, is being distracted. Or subverted or distracted yeah, or all well, any one of those words will do. Right. Yeah. Oh, because yeah. Oh. for me, if I don't have to use the word enthusiasm, but if my soul's eye, you know, is focused, it doesn't matter what is going on, it gets finished and I see what's going on. If it isn't, if I don't see that then it isn't going to happen. No. Okay. See, when the mind is focused, it's nothing. When the mind is focused, it's nothing. The mind no. is nothing? No. When the mind is focused, it's nothing. Uh, you mean em like emptiness? But if you want it to be full of jazz and enthusiasm mm -hmm. and high-spirited, good luck. That's not having your mind focused. But don't tell anybody. <laughs> Yeah, I can't read this stuff. Keep it as so a I, secret. I, I, t I have four cappuccinos. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm ready for some philosophy. <laughs> Why is enthusiasm not focused? Why is it not helpful? Yeah. Why is it not focused? Why is enthusiasm well, not focused? Well, I don't focused? know. Uh, describe it when you're enthusiastic. And I'll see how to use the word. Yeah, I guess I would say I'm, I'm excited to explore something, excited to try to figure something out. Oh, when you're trying to figure something out? Is that when you, is that what you call enthusiastic? Yeah, I would say. That's okay. I mean, I'm going to use your language, not yeah. mine. Yeah, like, okay, I want to I wanna figure this out. Let's, let's yeah. get into it. Yeah, and then do you when you're in that state? Uh, uh, sometimes. Not it. all the time. I always get the wrong answer. <laughs> Not all the time. I have a different, I have a different, uh, I have a different way of, of avoiding it. I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't say I'll come back to it. What I say is, oh, it would be better at this I don't even start it. I, I already say, oh, it'll be better at this time. Jackal? Yeah. Oh, sorry. 
Like I say, I say, oh, well, I'll do it after I do this. No, so that's this one. Right. I'll back. do it after I do this. Uh, no, yeah. no. That's a good one. <laughs> Doesn't it? Then you never, then it's never first. It's always something else is always first. Yeah. Okay. Good. Could, could that little diagram you had before about all the little circles being desires have something to do with this issue? I always say yes. If someone asks, says, does it have something to do? I always say yes. I like could it have. It's even easier to or have. Or could have. Could, yeah. No, don't, don't, don't. Sorry. Don't. That's always safe. You know, the <laughs> hunger or <laughs> desire for love or desire, you know, for money or power or other things kind of get in the way of whatever we do. See, let me do, do like I said. If you're putting this as your goal, and if you think it's meaningful, you're going to have to face your problem. And it's going to come up. That's your gift. That's your gift. Can we sometimes enjoy our gifts instead of... What, what? <laughs> I said, can we enjoy our gifts instead of continually getting them? <laughs> Give her a prize. That is a prize. <laughs> Give her a prize. Okay, that is it. Think, hold it. Um, there seemed to be an insight uh, regarding Barbara's. I don't see how the parts fit, and I don't have a mind for it. I missed it. I didn't. Okay, Barbara. Oh, okay. Just, uh, you, something happened, and I. I, I She's the authority. Well, there were two two things. One is that it doesn't; those two are not ra are not related by reasoning. You know that um, uh, I don't see how the, the the how a particular part fits, and I don't have a mind for it. That doesn't follow one from the other. You know, if you don't see how something fits, that doesn't mean your your mind is no good. It may not fit. You know. Okay. That's one thing. And right. the other thing was I was approaching it with the idea of I had to have a model that I would add things to, but in order to do that, you have to have, um, you have to understand first to build the model. Then everything will fit within the model. But then you, you don't have, have to fit it. Then you don't have to fit it. It's not a matter of like tweaking your, you know, tweaking your model, chopping off the piece. And, I see. Okay. You know, no. and that's okay. I mean. okay. Good. Okay. I understand now we're in a good place to explore Aristophanes' speech. Right. Okay. What would you say about it? What would you call it? Would make a couple of nice statements or build it? Jump in? I mean, no. Uh... Humor. Okay, I'll start. Okay. Uh, it's an A speech. There are no difficulties with it. He's a perfect example That's of right. a good comic writer. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we can jump over it and do something else this evening. <laughs> mm. oh. Or... Or there are more problems with it than there are with Eric Samakis' speech, if it permits. What do you think of the speech? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'll write it up here and it'll look good. I won't have to do much except write on the board. <laughs> it's kind of silly. What? It's kind of silly. Kind of silly. It's got some ridiculous. Uh, and you can make the difference between silly and ridiculous. Go ahead. Well, he cut them in half and removed their privy parts. Look, see, I'm not being facetious in any way. Look here. That is his statement, isn't it, on page 85, right? 87.
I am not at all afraid. I may say something laughable, but that would be a clear gain natural to our muse. But lest the things I say may be just ridiculous. So he doesn't mind that it's, if you want to call it silly or laughable, but he doesn't want you to think his speech is just ridiculous. Okay, so what saves it from being just ridiculous? Did he achieve his goal? That's one of his goals. I don't think so. This is where you need that word because... <laughs> This is what, in English, right, it's, a, it's an ancient word. It comes from the German. Because. Because. I didn't see where, I, I thought it was ridiculous throughout. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, look um, here, look here. Does he have goals, number one? Does the author of the speech, Aristophanes, does he have goals? Goals. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yes. 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 Right. Does he reach those goals? Next, among the goals, are there some things that are negative that he does not want to appear as? Yes, the one I just mentioned. He doesn't want you to consider his speech as just ridiculous. Okay, I'll put that down carefully here. There it is. In a different, in a different translation, if I can bring it up, it, 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 it says... Um, Lest it make me the butt of ridicule. Uh -huh. So he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to. Not only does he not want his work to to be ridiculous? Although as a comedian, he'll say some ridiculous things. Yeah, he does, but he doesn't want it to be merely merely ridiculous. Right. But, but therefore, we have to find the meaning. But he doesn't want. Yeah. To, don't consider me ridiculous. Okay. He so wants then. To be taken seriously. Okay then. Does he fulfill this goal? Um, you know, Pierre, his first sentence in this one is, to me men seem utterly insensible what the power of love is. Is that, you know, what he Okay, is yes, that's a goal, isn't it? Yes. The speech is going to show us the power of love. Thank you. And then he says, first you're going to learn about the nature of man, right? Pardon? So, it's, well, as a sub as a sub goal, he says, first you must learn about the nature of man and the history. Of man. Ah, thank you. Nature of man. It's all good. Good. More, more stuff. power and you shall teach it to others. Pardon me? He, he wants you to teach his what he says to other people. On the bottom of 85, he says... Let's go there. Bottom of 85. Jump in. Therefore, I will try to introduce you to his power and you shall teach it to others. So he wants disciples or something. Yeah. Pardon. He's looking at love as then, come on, uh, helper of man. Is that right? Yes, most man loving of, of God's being the helper of man and the healer of those whose healing would be the greatest happiness to the human race. So helper and healer. Ah, good. Good. Ah.
And of course, if he's successful, he expects a certain consequence, does he not? He wants you to become a teacher and to teach this, so an evangelical spirit behind it all. By the way, can, uh, he does, does he achieve these goals, or are they, are they all ridiculous, or what? I don't know if he does. What? I, I, it didn't seem to me that it he just, I don't know that word. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. It seems like he goes along. Oh, oh, excuse me, that's right. Some people turn it around. Yeah. He, no, he, no. Goes, he goes along and it, and it sounds good. You can accept the, the, the comedic imagery he's using. Uh, that's not where I find it ridiculous. I find it ridiculous at the end of, of his speech. Okay. He pulls something almost just out of the hat. It's, it's, huh? it's completely inconsistent with the whole okay, see, thing he was developing. So if these are his goals, these are his goals. Now he has a way to try to achieve them, doesn't he? What's the way he wants to demonstrate that he has a thesis that should, in principle, answer each of these points or fulfill them? The myth, is it not? Sorry, he gives a myth. Mm -hmm. That correct, yes or no? Yes. As you look at it, all right, I imagine you can say where it begins and where it ends, right? Can you not? You can bracket it, can you not? Yes. Then I presume then, uh, going through it, we should be able to see whether the myth by itself achieves that and check it with its conclusion, and then we can wrap it up and go back to this, one, two, three, four. Agree? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. What's your judgment on that? I could equally ask you, could I not, in the series of questions we had here, what was it like when you read that paragraph? Did you note each of these goals? Did you then see whether or not he supports it with a story or evidence or anything? Well then, what was it like when you were reading? What is reading? Very few people know how to read, you know. Good stuff. Well, um, now that we have that, I presume you're familiar with the story or the myth as you reflect on it. Make a conclusion now, or do you want to go back over it for a moment and look at it again, or how do you want to proceed? Get a reader to read it? Mm -hmm. Right. Have someone read it. Sure. Who? Yeah, have, someone read it. have someone read it. Why, that's thoughtful. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I'd just like to fill this cup for a moment so I can uh, hear your speech. You want to take a break just to get a cup of mine? Uh, Codes, how to design codes. For a computer? No. Uh, yeah. Cryptology. I'm in the military. No, yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah. And I worked out a, a code which is really perfect, and it's seldom, very seldom can ever be cracked, if ever. Really? No. Yeah. What code is it? Just state it clearly. <laughs> 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 no one will see it. Because since, since no one can read, they won't get it if you state it clearly. Okay, let's get our readers and go. What do you think? Okay, Daniel? But well, do you want to take a break or you're okay with it? Oh, someone else can read. Pardon me? 
I wasn't offering to read. I wanted to hear someone else read it. Okay. <laughs> Which I will interpret to mean he'd listen. like to finish his dinner. Good, that's fair. Hey, that's fair. He was offering to listen. That, that is not merely a... ridiculous. And he's dinner. So where do you want to start? I think right after that paragraph, the one that we were on on page 85 that I just ended with. First you must learn. Uh, about the nature of man. Is that 85? First, you must learn about... Ra, the last line. Right? Got it? <clears throat> okay, I got it. First, you must learn about the nature of man and the history of it. Ah, see. Formerly, the nat natural state of man was not what it is now, but quite different. For at first, there were three sexes, not two as at present, male and female, but also a third having both together. The name remains with us, but the thing is gone. There was then a male-female sex and a name to match, sharing both male and female. But now nothing is left but the title used in reproach. But that's not three sexes. Man, woman, both. Just please go on. But go ahead. Sorry. Uh, next, the shape of man was quite round back and ribs passing about it in a circle. And he had four arms and an equal number of legs and two faces on a round neck, exactly alike. There was one head with these two opposite faces and four ears and two privy part members. And the rest as you might imagine from this. They walked upright as now, in whatever direction they liked. And when they wanted to run fast, they rolled over and over on the ends of the eight limbs that they, eight limbs they had in those days, as our tumblers tumble now with their legs straight out and why there were three sexes and shaped like this was because the male was at first born of the sun and the female of the earth and the common sex had something of the moon which combines both male and female their shape was round and their going was round because they were like their parents they had terrible strength and force, and great were their ambitions. They attacked the gods and what Homer said of Otos and Iphialates is said of them that they tried to climb into heaven intending to make war upon the gods. So Zeus and the other gods held counsel what they should do, and they were perplexed, for they really could not kill the tribe with thunderbolts and make them vanish like the giants. Since then, their honors and the sacrifices of mankind would vanish too, <clears throat> nor could they allow them to go on in this wild way. After a deal of worrying, Zeus had a happy thought. Look here, he said. I think I have found a scheme. We can let men still exist, but we can stop them from their violence by making them weaker. I will tell you what I'll do now, says he. I will slice each of them down through the middle two improvements at once. They will be weaker and they will be more useful to us because 
there will be more of them. <laughs> they shall walk upright on two legs, and if they choose to go on with their wild doings and will not keep quiet, I'll do it again, says he. I'll slice them again through the middle, and they shall hop about on one leg. Right, if he does it again, then they'll only be half-assed. <laughs> right? <laughs> right, everybody right now is taking a drink and laughing their ass off. Like those boys that hop on the greasy wineskins at the fair, <laughs> says he. And then he sliced men through the middle as you slice your service berries through the middle for pickle. As... <laughs> You slice hard-boiled eggs with hair. While he sliced each, he told Apollo to turn the face and half the neck towards the cut. Right, turn the face around to face the cut. Right, there's the cut, so I have to turn the face around. To make the man see his own cut and be more orderly, and then he told him to heal the rest up. Yeah. So Apollo turned the face and gathered up the skin over what is now called the belly, like purses which you pull shut with a string. He made one little mouth and fastened it at the middle of the belly, and what they call the navel. Most of the wrinkles he smoothed out and shaped the breast using a tool like a shoemaker's when he smooths wrinkles out of his leather on the last. But he left a few, those about the navel and the belly, to remind them of what happened. So when the original body was cut through, each half wanted the other and hugged it. They grew their arms or they threw their arms around each other, desiring to grow together in the embrace, and died of starvation and general idleness because they would not do anything apart. Because the sexual them. parts were on the back. Mm -hmm. Right. So the second miracle, right? Zeus' second miracle. What was the first? Cut him in half. Split him, right? The second. Okay. Cut them up. When one of them Swing the sexual died. parts so they meet. Yep. Right. Right. When one of the halves died and the other... Now, can you imagine ever going with a girl and her sexual parts are in the wrong place? It'd be very embarrassing, wouldn't it? Say, like, honey, you got it, we got it kind of reversed. She'd say, that was Zeus. Go ahead. Yeah, when one of the, the halves died and the other was left, the half which was left hunted for another and embraced it. Whether he found the half of a whole woman, which we call a woman now, or half of a whole man, and so they perished. But Zeus pitied them and found another scheme. He moved their privy parts in front, for these also were outside before, and they had begotten and brought forth not with each other, but with the ground, like the cicadas. So he moved these parts also in front and made the generation come between them by the male and the female that in, that in this embrace, if a man met a woman, they might beget and the race might continue. And if a man met a man, they might be satisfied by their union and rest and might turn to work and care about the general business of life. So you see how ancient is the mutual love implanted in mankind, bringing together the parts of the original body and trying to make one out of two and to heal the natural structure of man. Then each of us is the tally of a man. He is sliced like a flat fish and two made of one. Right. So each one seeks his other tally. Right. Then all men who are a cutting of the old common sex, which they called man-woman, are fond of women. And adulterers generally come from that sex. <laughs> and all women who are mad for men and, and adulterous, the women who are a cutting of the ancient women, do not care about much about men. But 
are more attractive to women and strumpetresses also come from this sex. But those which are a cutting of the male pursue the male. And while they are boys being slices of the male, they are found <coughs> fond of men, fond of men, and enjoy lying with men and embracing them. And these are the best of boys and lads because they are naturally bravest. Some call them shameless, but that is false. No shamelessness makes them do this, but boldness and courage and a manly force, which welcome what is like them. Here is a great proof. When they grow up, such as those, such as these alone are men in public affairs. <laughs> and when they become men, they fancy boys and naturally do not trouble about marriage and getting a family but that law and custom compels them, they find it, enough themselves to live unmarried together. Such a person is always inclined to be a boy lover or a beloved, as he always welcomes what is akin. So when one of these meets his own proper half, whether boy lover or anyone else, then they are wonderfully overwhelmed by affection and intimacy and love, and one may never may say never wish to be apart for a moment. These are the ones who remain together all their lives, although they could not say what they expect to get from each other, for no one could suppose that this is sensual union, as if this could make anyone delight in another's company so seriously as all that. Plainly, the soul of each wants something else, what it cannot say, but it divines and riddles what it wants. And as they lie together, suppose he faced us, were to stand beside them with his tools and ask, what do you want from each other, men? And if they were at a loss, suppose he should ask again, is it only that you desire to be together as close as possible and not to be apart from each other night or day? For if that is what you desire, I am ready to melt you and weld you together so that you too may be made one and as one you may live together as long as you live. And when you die, you may die still one instead of two. And beyonder, in the house of Hades, uh, and beyonder in the house of Hades, together. Think if this is your passion, and if it will satisfy you to get this. If that were offered, we know not a single one would object, or be found to wish anything else had so long desired to be united and melted together with his beloved and to become one from two. For the reason is that this was our ancient natural shape. When we were one whole, and so the desire for the whole and the pursuit of it is named love. <coughs> Formerly, as I say, we were one, but now because of doing wrong, we have been dispersed by the God as the Akkadians were dispersed by the Lacedaemonians. There is fear then, if we are not decent towards the gods, that we may be sliced in half again, and we may go about like so many relief carvings of persons shown in half view on tombstones, <laughs> sawn right through the nose, like tally dice cut in half. For these reasons, we must exhort all men and everything to be God-fearing men, that we may escape this fate and attain our desire, since love is our leader and captain. But let no man oppose love, and whoever is the God's enemy does oppose him. For when we are friends with this God and reconciled to him, we shall find and enjoy our very own beloved, which now few are able to do. And don't let Eximachus chip in and make fun of my speech. 
and say that I mean Pausanias and Agathon, I should not be surprised if they are really of this class and both males by nature. But, indeed, I speak in general of all men and women, that the way to make our race happy is to make love perfect and each to get his very own beloved and go back to our original nature. If this is the best thing possible, the best thing to our hand <coughs> must, of course, be to come as near as possible, and that is to get a beloved who suits our mind. Then, if we would praise the God who is the cause of this, we should rightly praise love, who is the in the present gives us our chief blessing by bringing us home to our own and for the future offers the greatest hopes if we duly worship the God he will restore us to our ancient nature and heal us and make us blessed and happy thank you okay now uh, judge it what do you think Right, we can skip it now. We've done the reading. <laughs> well, it's hard to see how Hephaestus, I mean, it's hard to see how love is the cause of the greatest good. It looks like um, Hephaestus would be the person joining them together, and Apollo's the one who healed them, and so I'm originally from the cut, so as far as healing and helpful, it doesn't look like it's love functioning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's one shot at it. But... <clears throat> okay, that's it, then we can go. <laughs> Agree? Is here... What? The problem that I have in looking at this is that when he's saying that this love nature is has a certain goal of bringing us together, okay, as it indicates, that that is not proven on the basis, you know, of what he says because we know from common experience that usually, you know, love does not do that. But but you're going outside. Of I know, but I'm no, just no, saying. No, no, no. I understand. Well, but stay I, within it. Come okay. on. Stay within it. Okay, then we can uh, wrap it up. Uh oh. Um, well, from what I'm seeing in the text, love's aim is really a return to, to what he refers to as a natural state of man. Yeah. A more yeah. ideal state. Natural state. Yeah. And along the way, doing it in such a way that you are making peace with the gods so that they can assist you in a union. Sorry about that. And also... Uh, it was an appreciation of your point. Yeah, I get that all the time. <laughs> and also um, an aversion to a worse fate of being split yet again. So there's the element of a kind of uh, top on the beat hmm. with love. Okay, then that's enough. We can. Uh oh. Uh, he did. He did demonstrate power. He did demonstrate power because they're chasing one another. Did they never stop? Right, come on. Um. He did. He did illustrate a nature of man. Number three. He he illustrated a okay. nature. Okay. Whether it's correct or not, I'm not sure. There's still the question of whether it's ridiculous. Well, also, ridiculous. Um, where's number two? Where's number two? Uh, whoever wrote this down didn't know how to count. <laughs> oh, I'll put it in. Okay. Uh, I don't know whether I should or not. Well, I'll put the number down. Okay. <laughs> we appreciate because that. Because the added one that we don't have here and it's not important so I can ignore it is not a good principle Nancy oh, absolutely. right now I'll put it down anyhow right yeah. uh, okay.
to make to uh, make love perfectly. Yeah, to make love perfect. But um, the well, the question I have is that very was right with respect to that very point. It says, um, indeed, I speak in general of all men and women. Uh, that the way to make our race happy is to make love perfect, and each to get his yeah, own there it is. beloved, and go back to our original nature. Right. And then he says, if this is the best thing possible, the best thing to our hand must be to come as near to it as possible, and that is to get our beloved who suits our mind. And but, therefore? And therefore, those two things don't have anything to, get, to do with one another, do they? He has, uh, if you're yeah, asking me... Okay, um, those two things don't have anything to do with one another. <coughs> because, because, therefore, because it's like a contradiction. It won't, no. Love won't get you there. Oh, what do you mean, therefore? No. Uh, Helper, wait a minute. Anyone want to help? Because it's not something that suits you, it's your other half, isn't it? It's not something that suits your mind, right? But... Isn't it? It's, um, your it's your original nature. It's not just something that suits with with your mind. It's your original nature. To go, you coming back to your whole like. Yeah, you go back to like the body with eight legs, eight yeah. uh, things. And so the, that up. can't be more than one. Right? Therefore, right. his solution. Go ahead. So his solution uh, doesn't. His solution won't won't get you back to the. Original nature. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, uh. Getting good. Yeah. Come on, some more. Look here. Given this, if this is if this is given his myth, mm -hmm. his solution is to find someone who matches your mind. Mind. Did he discuss that in no. any of this? No. Oh, does it fit the model? No. Oh. Oh, uh, okay. Therefore. Therefore. Uh, what he, happens to his speech? His speech becomes. An irresolvable Ooh, problem. Let's do it again, okay? Is this a tragedy or is this a comedy? Oh, it's a tragedy. Okay, in the history of mankind, <coughs> what's the goal? Come on, the history. Well, the history is. What happens to these beings? They get cut and separated from their original. Nah. No. What happens to them? Oh, they try to challenge the gods. No. Nah. What? Come on. Hey, there are people in my neighborhood who go along with this very thesis. They knock on my door, and they all want to get into heaven. <clears throat> right, that's hey, right. what's the history of these beings? They want to get into heaven. They wanted to get into heaven. And they were so powerful, they were trying to get in. That's right. And therefore? The gods cut them in half. The origin of love is a... Punishment. Punishment. Oh, it's a punishment. Yeah. Revenge. Oh, then love is a punishment for, 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 for our trying to gain access to heaven. Oh, oh. Isn't there an inconsistency, Pierre, with the fact that he says that in the end, when we're together again, everything's going to be wonderful and we're getting into heaven? But in the beginning, their ancient nature was such that... They tried to storm heaven in the same nature. And therefore, how can their, how can their, you know, the ancient solution, you know, is inconsistent with his? Because ending. if you do get back again, that would be a threat again to Zeus. Right, that's what I'm saying. And then it's he might zip and you know? zip again. Yeah. Oh, thank you. More. Well, it's not just that they're trying to get into heaven. They're yeah. making war on the gods. Yeah, well, they want to. You have to. Yeah. yeah. So I'm curious as to I'm curious as to what that means and how that. No, no you're not. Well, okay. So if they're making war upon the gods, essentially they're trying to because they want to gain, kick God the gods out and get heaven, get and into make heaven. heaven, something of their own. Yeah. Right. Well, well, you know. Oh, uh, by the way. In these three, uh, I imagine you could go back over it and say which one he favors. Could you not? Yeah. The yeah. one on top. Yes. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. The one he talked about the most is male. Yeah. And, uh, okay, that's all right. That's his choice. Come on, that's his choice. But uh, would you not go back and, and ask yourselves, how does he describe, especially the... I mean, that really describes these kinds of relationships, does it not? 
replicate. Like if you ever met a woman who's interested in men, he would say. She, he would say she was a strumpet and oh, promiscuous. A what? A strumpet. That, but that's not a term I use at uh, my local pub. He would pub. say she was a <laughs> slut, a sexually promiscuous individual. Oh, that's one of them. Yeah, uh, what's the other oh, one? Oh, or? Nymphomaniac. Okay, that's right. So what's his picture of women involved in this kind of relationship? Yeah, actually, actually, no. <laughs> Sorry. They're mad for men. Mad for men, that's it. And promiscuous relationships. Yes. Right, right. And that's that's just what they are, isn't it? No. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. No. And how about the men? What do they like also that involve these they women? Right. They, they say they are he says they are like adulterers. They're all adulterers. Yeah. Right. Yes. Because they want to make two love to as many as women. Yeah, as yeah, yeah. So that really does describe it, doesn't it? No. Mm -hmm. Or they might miss something. Yeah. He okay. might he's having a lot of he's revealing what he thinks. Good, good, good. Um, now, once he describes this, right, then when they finally do, look here, when any of these combinations finally do meet, all right, <laughs> what does he say about it? Oh, that's funny. Praise the God that causes it. Pardon? They would praise the God that causes it. Okay. Well, he says that they doesn't he give the moment of the of them, and he asks if Hephaestus goes over there, what, and asks them what did they desire? They would say they didn't desire to be. Well, no, I thought he says that they they weren't wouldn't be clear on it. Let me look. And then into the next world together. Is that right? Make sure. Oh, and they would go into Tartarus, you know, together. And as they lie together, suppose the faces were to stand beside them with his tools and ask, what do you want from each other, men? And if they were at a loss, suppose he should ask again, is it only you desire to be together <coughs> as close as possible and not to be apart from each other day or night? Okay, now, what do you make of this hmm. dialogue? Insert it in here. Barbara? Well, it's kind of, uh, they don't, they're not clear on what they want. They're at a loss as to what they want, right? That's the beginning stage. And then Hephaestus suggests Go an on. alternative to him. And they say... No, without reading. Without reading? Without reading, yeah. What do you think? Come on. Well, take, come on. See if you can pull it out from your memory. How do you see it structured? Uh, then read, okay? Hmm. It's, it's a structure. Like do you see the structure? Hmm. Go ahead. Well, it just it sounds like it's a test. Pardon me. It sounds like it's a test to see if they still have the desire to you know, oh. the device. Yeah. Just, in, just in harmony with the music of the spheres. There are seven ifs. Can you link them all together? This is a dialogue. Come on. Projected dialogue. It has seven ifs. If, 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 if. Come on. Follow that. <clears throat> what do you say is going on? <clears throat> passion and if it will satisfy you to get this if that were offered okay pick it up from Barbara's opening remark okay if they were at a loss then everything yes. follows doesn't it from yes. that right agree mm -hmm. 
Prior, but prior to that, claiming the soul of each wants something else, what it cannot say, just right above that, just to add. Mm -hmm. What is he saying about this kind of relationship now? Come on. It's unsatisfactory. They don't know what they want. They expect to get from each other. Is that correct? Right. If they were at a loss and they couldn't answer it, now comes a whole series of ifs. Line them up and tell me what you see. Look at the care with which he sets this up in this one sentence, all right? The two that go together. These are the ones who remain together all their lives, although they could not say what they expect to get from each other. For no one could suppose that this is sensual union, as if this could make anyone delight in another's company so seriously as all that. Hmm. Plainly, the soul of each wants something else. What it cannot say it is. But it divines and riddles what it wants. See the state? Come on, do you see the state of that soul? Come on. Divines and riddles what it wants. It can't say, right? Can't say. Tragedy. And he's saying, hey, by the way, these relationships, it's more than a sensual union. It's because no one would be have that kind of a, a basis for a union and that's all there is. Procreation. It has to be something more. Something else is there. But they can't say what it is they expect to get. What if they were a loss? Yeah, they're stuck. Now, do all the ifs, what follows? Okay, what follows? If, then... See, you have to keep them going in your thinking. You have to picture. Well, all of this. The reason is that this was our ancient natural shape when we were one. I don't think you're doing well. Come on, do it, do it, read it. And as they lie together, could you read it for us? Uh, where are you? It's after the first if, so it's the second if. Um, where's the second and as they lie together, suppose Hephaestus were to stand beside them with his tools and ask, what do you want from each other, men? And if they were at a loss, suppose he, suppose he should ask again, is it only that you desire to be together as close as possible and not to be apart from each other day or night, night or day? For if that is what you desire, I am ready to melt you and weld you together so that you too may be made one. And as one, you may live together as long as you live. And when you die, you may die still one instead of two. And be yonder in the house of Hades together. Think! 
if this is your passion, and if it will satisfy you to get this, if that were offered, we know that not a single one would object or be found to wish anything else. He would simply believe he had heard that which he had so long desired to be united and melted together with his beloved and to become one from two. For the reason is uh, that this was our ancient natural shape when we were one whole. And so the desire for the whole and the pursuit of his name love. Uh, okay, now, what state would they be in in the next world? They'd be one instead of two. One, come on, one instead of two. Coldness. Right, back into their old shape. Yes. Right? Four Melted into, Melted together. Right? Uh -huh. And uh, would they uh, know what they wanted? Therefore, they'd go on into the next world with what? A puzzle or a riddle. A puzzle or a riddle. And that will give them happiness, won't it? Well, but, and isn't there another... Right, problem? I mean, that's, a, that's, a, that's a making love perfect. Right, right. Doesn't it say that they, 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 they feel that it's beyond, beyond the sensual union? No, no one could suppose no one this could essential be satisfied with as if this could make anyone delight in another. That's family. right. Plainly, the soul of each wants something else. But what? But what? They, they cannot say. They cannot say. And, I mean, isn't this the ultimate of sensual union? The, put, the putting the bodies together. Right. Of course, in the next world, there's some other union. Well, that may be, but just in terms okay. of what he's saying. Though, okay. okay. Then they would go into the next world with a pr profound riddle about why they're well, together. Yeah, that's right. Since they still don't know what they right. want to get from each no other. No one would object, but that's all And that get. shows happiness, doesn't it? <laughs> no, I don't believe so. Oh. They're the agreeable. Oh, and, and it's comic, isn't it? No, it feels sad. Or is it tragic? It's tragic. tragic. They're stuck together and they still don't know of anything. Eternity Let's see, it starts out being a <laughs> punishment. And then you don't know what you want to get when you finally do get involved, however, however you get involved. But then when Hephaestus asks them what they want, or he said when he asked them, isn't it that you desire to be one? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they just nod away. That's all they, that's all they can think of. That's it? all they can think of. Gee, gee that's, yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted all along. And then they get sent in. No, he doesn't say, yeah, 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 yeah. He says... If that were offered, we know not a single one would object yeah. or be found to wish anything else. Yeah. That doesn't mean they're going, does it? I mean, I, unless we're in a different, you're in a different part here. Well, no. I, I no, 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 no. Keep going there. with your point. But, well, well, yeah. well it, seems, it looks like they still have the puzzle because yeah. it says, if that were offered, we know that not a single one would object. Well, yeah. they don't know. How can they object, right? And it says, or be found to wish anything else. They don't know what the, they don't know. They, they don't, don't know. They're don't. not going to find right, anything right, else. Right. He would simply believe. He would simply believe he had heard that which he had so long desired. That's just a, be belief. a belief. He's yeah. ended with a belief. Yeah. And I, I'm kind of going with Barbara on this one because I'm confused. It looks like there's a string of ifs. Yes. But the last if is think if well. It's, one of the last is think if this is your la if your passion and if it will satisfy you to get this. And then it says, if that were offered, we know that not a single one would object. And I'm going, I guess it's a question for me. Did they think? <laughs> yes, but or remember. Did they simply believe? Did they skip uh, that last? Perhaps step? you cut off your quote too early. Huh? What state of mind would they be in? Would they then be in a belief state? They would believe that is what they really wanted? Is that the difference between belief and knowing or not? Right, they simply believe. Oh, so therefore they're in a belief state. And they'll believe that's what they always wanted. <laughs> it's their passion too. Right, and that's how to make love perfectly, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Back to the shadows again on the wall. Okay. Now, going back to 89. Hmm. 
The way to make our race happy is to make love perfect. And each to get his very own beloved and go back to our original nature. If, if this is the best thing possible, the best thing at, our, at, at hand, at our hand, must be, of course, to become a new as it is possible. And that's to get a beloved one who suits your mind. Oh, what does that do then to everything that he's built? <laughs> Male, female, 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 male, male, out. So to make love perfectly, what do you have to do? Find someone. Find someone who matches your mind. Your mind. Your mind. Oh, oh. And that, would this help? As a model. No. No. Back row. But there's no evidence they used their mind. Pardon? There's no evidence that they used their mind. Exactly. There is no evidence that, yes, there's no way in which we can learn how to use your mind to find someone who fits your mind. That's right. Apart from that, it's a great speech. It's actually noose, you know. It's actually, it is mind. It's noose. Yeah. High, highest aspect of mind. Yeah. yeah. Right. Really? Because this guy says it's uh, like-minded and congenial or something like that. Well, that's a guy who likes congenial relationships. The translator okay. would be my guess. <laughs> so basically, in, in, um, I, I, in, in what uh, the basis is saying, he's, it seems like he's basically testing oh the parent to see if they course. have any passions do for eternity. or know of any passions other than just for eternity. For eternity. <laughs> <laughs> and if they've got any other passions, including whatever might have motivated them to make war with the gods, they don't get welded. They don't get unified. And how can you relate that to the end of it? See your own mind coming back. Um, okay, then. Carrie, you were. I interrupted. I, um, the translation I have here just uses, it says it's like-minded and congenial. But Barbara challenged it. So if, if there's just noose there, then it's, then it's mine. But if it's like-minded and congenial, well, well, it, does, it doesn't carry the force of suiting each other's minds. But we have a notion of what that means. No. My question is that if the original goal, or when 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 we were originally an eight-legged or four-legged form creature, was to make war on the gods, and Hephaestus, one of the gods, comes to you and stands over you and says, "Okay, you think you found each other. Now, is that all you want? Because it could be that what they when he says, well, maybe you should be welded back together again." in this way so you can be in Hades together. But the question is, maybe that thing that they're longing for that I have is to make war on the gods again. That's what that would follow. Yes. That would follow. And that because they're only in belief, yeah. unreserved or un, unreflecting <clears throat> thought, yeah. Well, yeah, of course we want to be together. But without thinking that the real goal of being together in the first place would be to make war on the gods, perhaps that's, that's true. there. Therefore, pick it up with the word them. And you can see what follows. All right, well, do it the other way around. By the way, is it likely that people might have different souls if they're different people? It could happen. But what happens in the end? He makes them one instead of one. two. Yeah. Well, okay, let's drop that. <laughs> let's go to the conclusion. Okay. Then? There's a quick, uh, uh, quick question on that. Please. Just on that same thing. Going back to what Zeus says, he's... I'm sorry if this is a stupid question, but Zeus says he's going to make them weaker by splitting them in half. Yes. But he's splitting them in half in body, but it looks like the effect is in mind because they forget what their goal was. So, I mean, that's the, how well, it functions, right? They forget that they want to storm heaven. So they're half-minded, and they I think I, I didn't they hear the last part of what you said. They forget what their passion is, they forget what their goal was, 
they don't think, they don't use their minds. So it's, when Zeus splits them in half, he's, it's not really the body he's splitting so much as the mind, the, the strength of the mind. Right? No. That's the weakness. Mm-hmm. But he also gives them that. And therefore, the looking at that and judging the whole of his speech, you would conclude? That's the hard part. Well, you know what? Okay, here, let me, let me try it. Okay, back in here. Then, if he would praise the God who was the cause of this, of course, this is why you'd want to praise the God, wouldn't it? Because it fits, right? He made you what? (laughs) One. Becomes the greatest benefit. Okay, in any case, I'll, I'll read it over that. Then, if we would praise the God who is the cause of this, we should rightly praise love who in the present gives us our chief blessing by bringing us home to our own and for the future offers the greatest hopes that if we duly worship the God, he will restore us to our ancient natures and heal us and make us blessed and happy. Now, going back to our original... Sounds like a curse. Or yeah. It sounds like a curse more than a blessing. If, we're, if love is going to cause us to get back together, such that we make war on the gods and get punished again, that doesn't. Then sound you're going to storm heaven again. again. Yeah, it doesn't sound. So it really fits. I mean, it fits. Mm-hmm. It, it must like fit. a bunch of Old Testament crap. Okay, look here. Okay. It showed, did it not, that love is the helper of man? No. no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The curse. No, it was Hephaestus that. Whatever action was taken was by Hephaestus, not by. Yeah. Eros. Or. Or love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or uh, Zeus. Did it show that love was helpful? No. 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 Uh, did it show brings us our greatest happiness? No. No. Uh, hmm. Did it show us how to make love perfectly so that and find someone no. who suits our mind? No. 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 But it's a lovely speech and it does show the power of love. No. <laughs> hmm. Now, well, could yes, it, could more? it possibly show that love is helpful? Number five. Is it possible that it could show that if you, if you, if you try to push it a little by saying that if, according to him, love's function is to bring us back together, to unite our our halves into a whole and therefore do the opposite of what Zeus was doing, which is to make us weaker and to make us forget. The opposite of that would be to make us stronger and to make us remember what our passions are. And therefore, uh, Here it comes. vie for the gods. Then that would theoretically be helpful, would it not? To help us remember, that is a helpful thing, is it not? It would, get, it would get us blasted into half again, right? That's right. <laughs> if, according to the story, right? According to the drama in the story. We'd, we'd be split one more time into four pieces instead of into... And by the way, was there not a good reason for splitting us? Now, there are many more of us. We're weaker and we make more s- sacrifices, sacrifices to the gods. To get more out of it. But then love right? He found that was a good thing to do for man. <laughs> he discovered something about man. If they join together, they'll storm heaven. But but wouldn't wouldn't. Love so if we really dutifully obey the God, we'll go back to our original nature, and we won't be weaker anymore, and uh, they'll have less sacrifices. Um, and that's why Zeus would probably agree or disagree. Yeah. Disagree. Gotta have the gift. <laughs> well, it seems again that. I mean, in the in the right before that last part that you just read, it basically points out that in his version of the story, uh, that it's really to keep you from acting in the, from the opposite will of the gods. And the mm-hmm. globe here it says, "Let none in act oppose him." Love, that's him. And if and, and it is opposing him to incur the hate of heaven, if we make friends with the gods and are reconciled, we shall have the fortune that falls to few in our day of discovering our proper favorites. Well, according to the gods, though. 
not according to our nature, which was to storm the heavens. They don't want us to storm the heavens. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to put us in a confused state. Yeah, it's inconsistent. Now that storm heaven in a confused state. That's right. <laughs> You'll never be able to do it. Uh, oh, look here, look here. Let's pause for a moment. Um, did this help reading? Yes. Yes. Is this like, what's reading? Not listening to those those voices. They're cutting you in half. <laughs> oh! <laughs> They're or cutting more. you in half. Or making you into smaller people. And making you weaker. <laughs> and then you'll offer up sacrifices to get out of it. Right? <laughs> and the only way out is... Uh, Start using your own mind, is that right? Yes. <laughs> hmm. That's rather curious. You know what's good about this dialogue? They get better as you go from one to the other. And that's why the next speech is Agathon. Right? The very word Agathon means good, so it's probably the best speech in the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Probably. I mean, and after all, he's a writer. Yes. Right? And got a prize from the festival. So, I mean, it's got to be good. Okay, let's go back to the issue of reading. Hold it. Uh, back to the issue of reading. Did he accomplish his goal of, I think one of the goals was to a, a negative goal, right? To not yes. be ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So he that it's not being, merely ridiculous. Not, not just ridiculous, not merely ridiculous. Yes. He didn't mind being laughable. It would call up a muse, but he didn't want to be just ridiculous. Right. So therefore, so we, we should find the part is that is not ridiculous. Right. Yes, go ahead. We Where is it? We agreed that certainly part of it, if not all of it, is ridiculous. But is it not also laughable? Parts of it are laughable. Well, that can still be laughable. So if it's laughable, then it's not merely ridiculous. Of course. So he accomplished that goal at least. No, because it was ridiculous. Go ahead. Because he was also laughable. I mean, the part where they're doing these... Well, things, let's you know, find out whether it's laughable or not. What's his conclusion? What's the way to, way to make our rays happy? To restore them to their primal nature by joining them together, and therefore, but our primal nature is to storm heaven. No, we have to no, praise, no, no, no. praise the gods no, no. to get back. No, no. What does he say is the goal to make our race happy? To make love perfect. You're in the mess. I don't think he can hear you. Come on, conclusion. That the way to make our race happy is to make love perfect. And each to get his very own beloved and to go back to our original nature. If this is the best thing possible, the best thing in our hand must be, of course, to become as near as this as possible. And that's to get a beloved who? Suits your mind. Suits your mind. Mm -hmm. Suits your own mind. Is that right? So how do, we, how do you make the race happy? Get someone who suits your mind. Is that right? Wait a minute, is this something that could be, we could laugh at it? Is that funny? No. Not at that point. It's not ridiculous, or is it? It's not ridiculous. It's not ridiculous, but rather? Well, if you could find someone to suit your mind, that's a rather high goal, but no. he didn't speak to that issue at all. So it's like empty with respect But you to see, that. he sneaks into that term if you go back to your original nature. But what would be your original nature if you have to go back and find someone who suits your own mind? That the soul was the thing that was cleaved asunder. That the soul was what was cleaved asunder. That it's not actually the joining of the body, that your mind or soul was what was cleaved. So you have to find someone who is your soulmate, I guess. That, that would be a soulmate on the highest level. Yes. Yeah. 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 So behind it all, he has something that is not ridiculous. But it's buried in all of this. 
his passion. Curious, is it on? No, okay. okay. It seems like he's just giving a, uh, this is all to support and defend his passion. That's what it seems like to me. This is uh, some um, justification. Yeah. Well, it, he seems to have a passion for men, and this seems to defend it. No, no, no. It also depends. Well, uh, Daniel, Daniel, Jacqueline, uh, just decided to offer a prize, so let me, uh, I'll just make it clear. They asked whether or not someone pr next Friday could come in with a new model to show how a model would fit this idea of making love perfect by getting someone who suits your own mind. Is that, that was your idea, was it not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I said in return that, well, that'll only work if everybody helps them. Would you be willing to help? There, see? So he can call on anyone, can he not? I said, I'll be gone for a couple of weeks, so it's up to you guys. Oh, hi. Um, in line with what Brad said, um, it does seem like he is uh, he's making a justification to some extent because what we were talking about at the beginning, we were describing the male-female and what we called, okay, the male then is going to be an adulterer and the female, Barbara said, a, a strumpetus. Um, and I was, I was thinking when we said that, uh, no, that's the female, female, female. Uh, but really, it's both. So the, the fe he calls the female and the male, female, the adulteress. The okay. female and the female, female, strumpet. This, which is the same thing, or maybe even the worst degree yeah. of it. But the male and the male, male is uh, right. this noble thing. <coughs> the logic doesn't seem to follow. You know, yeah, and. and uh, would you read the part where it can show us the nobility of man? It's only in the male, male. Okay, get one page. Everyone together, please. Bottom of 87, top of 88. Top of 88. Top of 88. They are the papers. Best of boys and lads. They're naturally bravest. Do you have that good quote that would show the male is the nobler? Uh, I think that was your point. Yeah, it, it says right uh, at the bottom of 87. But those which are a cutting of the male pursue the male, and while they are boys, being slices of the male, they are fond of men, and enjoy lying with men and embracing them, and these are the best of boys and lads, because they are naturally bravest. And that would show the male is... Well, the, the ones who are pursuing other men are the, the bravest. Bold, brave, and masculine. No. No, that's really good. Yeah. And that shows, therefore, they're... They're the best of boys. Because they're brave. Bold, brave, bold, and masculine. Bold, courage. Bold, bold, brave, force. and masculine. Got yeah, is that 
the same thing as uh, proud? Betcha. No. Or better? Best. It's always good to be find people who are brave because, you know, <laughs> it invariably follows that they're always wise. Yeah. I mean, no one ever was brave that did anything foolish. Uh, yeah, I think that's actually what a fool uh -huh. is. Right? <laughs> uh, you'd agree with that, would you not, sir? Yeah. <laughs> but this is a statement. They're brave enough to stay with what they're convicted of no, no. whom they are. No. Okay, let's take a break. What do you think? Thank you. Thank you. By the way, uh, how are you going to read for next time? The careful voices, you're being cut in half, right? right. That only happens to men, though. Women, too? Huh? Okay.